Woo, I am just coming in from church and I wanted to share with you what I'm wearing. So I put on this pink coat, which I made like years ago. And this is actually my very first lined, fully lined jacket or coat. And I don't wear it very much, so I thought I would share it with you. I really, really like it. And then, do you all ever nickname your clothes? Okay, so let me tell you the story behind this nickname. The very first time I wore this dress, I actually wore it to a funeral. And so, ever since then, I affectionately refer to this as my funeral dress. So I was in my closet, I was getting dressed for church, and I was like, I'm going to wear the funeral dress. So this is a dress that I made also years ago that I really, really like. And I'm trying to get myself out of only wearing it when I'm going to a funeral. So today was one of those days where I just happened to throw it on because I noticed it and I really like it. So here is my funeral dress that I'm trying to break out of being a funeral dress. So I purchased this pink knit fabric from Joanne Fabrics a couple weeks ago and I made a top. Was it a top? Yeah, I did. I made a top and I have like a good amount left. And I want to make this McCall's top, but I don't have enough to make the top. So I'm on my way to Joanne Fabrics and I'm hoping that they have more of this pink fabric. Okay, so I found what I need and I also pulled out this because I want to get this too. I want to make like a shrug or something with this. I saw this the other day and it is so soft and so I went home and figured out what I can make with it. This is the fabric that I came to get and I only need a yard and a half to match the scraps that I have to make this next project. I ended up buying the rest of the pink fabric that they had on the boat and it was a little over a yard. This is the same pink fabric that I had left over from a different project. Now with the two of these pieces, I'll be able to cut out the next sewing make, which is going to be McCall's 8344. My plan is to make this view here, view C. This top does have gathers here in the sleeve cap area. And I know my fabric is a little bit thick, so I want to eliminate these gathers. And then the other change I would like to make is to this portion here. I just want to lengthen it. This is the lower front, lower back piece that I wanted to lengthen. So I added three and a half inches to this piece here. And just to get an idea of how long it was going to be, I just took the back piece, which will be attached to the lower piece here. And I looked to see how long it was gonna be. And I know it looks kind of long, but keep in mind that this is actually going to be folded in half before it is attached to the bottom here. So once it's folded in half and then sewn together, I figured it would be stopping right at my waist area. So that's how I determined just how long I wanted to lengthen the bottom here. In order to remove the gathers from the sleeve, I had to determine how much ease was in the sleeve cap. The next thing that I needed to do was measure the length of the armhole opening on the front and also on the back pattern piece. This is actually the front. And I made a mark 5 eighths of an inch from each end. So from here, here, 5 eighths of an inch from here over, up at the top. And then I even did the same thing on the sleeve. And I put 5 eighths of an inch from the edge over and made a mark and also on this side. Next, I measured in between the two five eighths of an inch mark lines. So for the front, I got seven inches and for the back, I got seven and a half inches. So the two notches let me know that this is the back sleeve placement and this one notch is the front sleeve placement. So I took the measurement for the back sleeve, which was seven and a half inches. And from the five eighths of an inch mark, I use the measuring tape and I measured up seven and a half inches and then once I got to that point I made a little mark right there and then I did the same thing with the front pattern piece so the front was seven inches I measured up seven inches and then I made a mark and that's what you see right there and then 
In order to find out how much ease I had, I just measured between the two marks. So this came out to be five inches, so I knew that I needed to remove five inches from the top of the sleeve cap in order to remove the gathers. Okay, so I had to look up a video to see how to do this, so hopefully this will work. So I traced out the sleeve pattern and then I folded it in half so that I can get the center of the sleeve and then I folded the pattern once again and put a crease in it. Now what I'm going to do is do a slash and spread. So I'm going to cut along these lines that I made. I guess I can go ahead and do it right now. And I don't want to cut through the paper at the end. So I'm just going to go down and cut very, very close to the end without cutting all the way through the paper. And that way I can move the paper around. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut through these lines. So there will be a total of three slash lines that I'm cutting through. So this is the second one. And since my ease was about five inches, I'm going to remove about four and a half inches and I think that that should give me enough because I do want to have some room to move at the top of the sleeve cap but I just don't need as much as five inches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap each piece. So one piece, the middle piece, and then this piece I'm going to just close it in to remove the gathers and I've decided that I want to move each section over by one and a half inches. So I'm going to move this over, move this over, move this over and tape it down and then reshape this so that it's nice and even and smooth and then I'll be able to cut out my fabric using this pattern. So I drew a line one and a half inches away from this edge and I taped that down and then I put another mark here one and a half inches away from this edge and I'm going to line that up and tape that down and then the same thing over here. I put a mark there. I'm just going to line this up and move it over like this. So I have this here that I need to clean up and make it nice and rounded. The problem that I'm noticing though is the paper doesn't want to lay flat. It's bunching up. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe since I had to take out so much, maybe I'll just cut through this and kind of overlap it. Just see what happens. So I'll just make it to where it's nice and not puckered basically. So yeah, that works for me. So I'm going to tape this down. So that means I'll probably need to reshape the bottom of this sleeve also along with reshaping the top. So now I'll just need to just straighten this out and then oh, pin that to, or not pin but tape this together so it won't come apart. And then I'm going to get another piece of paper to put behind here. So I have the sleeve all taped together. All the loose pieces are taped down. And across the bottom I drew a line and I'm going to cut across this line just to make sure this part down here is nice and even. And then as far as this top portion, I pin the sleeve down to this scrap piece of paper and I'm just going to round this edge off here and make it nice and even and then this will be my sleeve piece. So let me cut around. Just gonna cut right around here to even everything out. So 
so next I will just cut off this down here at the bottom so that my hem will be pretty even okay so now I have my sleeve pattern and I can go ahead and cut out my fabric so this neck facing is interfaced and it is attached to the back of the garment and then there is interfacing also that goes along this side here on the front pieces and then next it says to add some ease stitching between the seam lines here so I just made a mark 5 eighths of an inch up from here and a 5 eighths of an inch from here these two areas and then I'm going to ease stitch in between these areas and I did the same thing on each of the front pieces the directions also say to finish this edge here and I'm not gonna do that because this edge is going to be folded on the inside and it's already pretty clean and neat I'm not worried about it fraying or anything so I'm not gonna finish it I'm just gonna move forward with the rest of the directions okay so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fronts and line them up with the back open up the facing and then this area gets sewn to this back with the facing out so at first the facing was tucked in but you open it out according to the directions and then just stitch right there on each side of the front shoulder area so after you sew the shoulder area then you baste the facing down to the seam allowance and I did that on both sides I also added basting stitches here per the directions and then I pulled up the ease stitching on the side and pinned the sides together so that I can go ahead and sew that next I just finished sewing the side seam up for the sleeve and it's supposed to have some elastic at the bottom so I'm supposed to be folding this up and making a casing however since I attempted to take out the gathers that go in the sleeve cap I wanted to make sure it was going to fit in here before I add the elastic to the bottom so this is the moment of truth I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here and sew it together and see how it's looking okay so this is how the sleeve is looking and I am actually fine with the way that it went in. I will probably go around here and clean it up with the serger, but let's look over here on the sleeve cap area. No gathers. I am really happy that this worked. So I cleaned up the area and it looks much neater now. So I can go ahead and actually put the elastic in the sleeve hem area. And then on this one, I can go ahead and put the casing and the elastic in before I insert the sleeve now that I know that it's going to fit okay. The elastic is in the sleeve so now I'm going to work on the lower band and I'm just going to sew the side seams together and then this will get attached to the bottom of the top here to make it one whole piece. Okay I am all finished. This pattern is rated as easy. So this is the top with the lengthened band and the gathers removed from the sleeve cap. The top was a little bit too short so I ended up adding an inch and a half more to the band pattern piece and cut out a new band and reattached it to the top.